Hello Pepperdine staff. In this video, we'll continue with the Query Manager Fundamentals tutorial by enhancing a basic query. In this session, we'll do a quick review, then demonstrate how to add criteria, modify the sort order, and change the heading text titles for the field data. Let's begin in the Query Manager, and we'll search noting that our private queries are displayed first. In our list, we'll start by using the basic query from Session 2. I'll select Lens Query Example 2 and select Edit. Notice we have three fields for the personal data record, and we'll continue using this same record to add these improvements too. As a quick review, let's add a fourth field, the Employee's Country. We'll select the Query tab and expand the record to show the fields. We'll use the Find feature to locate the field Country and select the checkbox. Back on the Fields tab, we can see the country has been added and will be displayed in the fourth column. Let's select the Run tab and view the results. As expected, the output for employees will be their Empel ID first name, city, and country. We see that we have over 20,000 employees and most live in the USA, but there are some employees who live in another country. Let's say we wish to list only employees not living in the USA. With Query Manager, we can do that by using criteria to create a comparison where we only match employees not in the USA. We can compare all country data in the 20,000 plus results by means of using a relational operator in an expression. Ideally, our comparison would be something like this. Expression 1, condition type, expression 2. Where the condition type is the comparison operator. Simply put, it is field list of countries not equal to USA. To avoid confusion, please note that these expressions are different than query expressions that are defined on the Expressions tab within the Query Manager. There will be more about this in later tutorials. There are several ways to define a criteria in Query Manager. Notice there is a criteria page. Here we could select the Add Criteria button and build the criteria specific to any of the fields we've selected. However, a better way would be to add criteria from the fields page for that specific field since we desire to just compare the countries. Note there are other ways to add criteria. For now, we'll focus on using Add Criteria from the Fields page. Select the Add Criteria icon in the Fields page for the field Country to edit criteria properties. In the criteria properties, you can see that we have the ability to create an equation. We see that expression 1 can be a field or an expression in itself. We'll leave it to be the field country. The condition type is selectable, the default being equal to. Our choice from the pull down should be not equal to. We'll discuss some of the other condition types in future tutorials. So in expression 2 we can choose the type to be a constant. Consequently we can enter the constant as a text that being USA. Take note that sometimes the lookup may provide a list of possible constant values typically when fields that have translate values or has a prompt table assigned to it. There will be more about this in later tutorials. Select OK. Let's take a quick look at the criteria page to view the criteria we just created for the field country. That looks correct. Let's select Run. Now we're viewing a result list of non-USA employees along with some who have not entered a country into their personal data record. And now, if we go to the criteria page, we see that we can then easily edit it to change the condition type to be equal to. Viewing only USA employees. And note, there's a delete function to remove this criteria altogether.
Now let's add a state to our desired output. In session two, we demonstrated how to reorder the columns by entering column numbers on the left. Let's change the column order to place the country as the last column and run the query. Notice in the HTML output, there doesn't seem to be any order to how the results are listed. So let's create a sort order. We'll go back to the fields page and select the reorder slash sort button and in the edit field ordering view we'll change the results order by number. We'll do this by entering numbers on the right that will specify the sort order needed. So let's change the state column so the states are listed alphabetically. Enter 1 and select OK. In the fields page, notice in the order column for the state that the 1 value identifies the order for this field and will place the states alphabetically. Let's run the query. Notice there is some ambiguity in the results as we see what looks like country names to be entered into the city field and notice the state field that's blank is listed first. However, as we scroll down, we'll see employees listed in Alaska first, followed by Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, then California, and so on. Let's add a new order by for first name. Here we'll enter a two. Let's view the results. By scrolling down alphabetically to California, we can see names as the second sort order listed alphabetically. For example, all the errands listed for California are first, followed by Abby, and so on. And note, there is a checkbox if you wish to view any column output in descending order. Let's see how that works for the state. And take note that first names are still listed alphabetically from A to Z. Another basic enhancement is the heading title for each column, which can be modified. As you can see, these titles are abbreviated and sometimes cryptic as the text is intentionally shortened. That can be easily changed for each field by editing the field properties. Select the Edit button for that field. Notice in the Heading property you have four choices. For the heading, they are No Heading, RFT Short, that's a short field name, RFT Long, a long field name, or Text, where you can type in your own specific text string. Let's change the heading to RFT Long for Impel ID, City, State, and Country and view the results. And let's personalize the first name heading to read Pepperdine Employee First Name. So now, let's navigate back to the Fields tab and save this expanded query, giving it a new name. We'll call it Lens Query Example 3. So in this session, we built upon an existing query, thus enhancing it to provide additional information specific to our needs, stripping out unneeded information, and placing it in an output order that works for us. And before we conclude, let's take a look at the View SQL tab 
to see the current state of the programmed query after these enhancements. By continuing to view the SQL once you've completed a task should give you a better understanding of the Query Manager and how it works and functions to build your desired query. The SQL code we see here starts with a selecting of the record field names for Impel ID, first name, city, state, and country from the PeopleSoft personal data record. Then it defines the criteria where country equals the text string USA. And then does the order by for column 4, that's the state field in descending order, followed by the sort order for column 2, that's the first name field. So upon running our enhanced SQL, all 14,000 plus rows of data listing the ample ID, first name, city, state, and country are displayed to the output with only U.S. employees listing the states in reverse alphabetical order and the employee's name listed alphabetically. In the next tutorial, we'll build upon what we've learned here. That's it. Thank you for watching.